there is a perception that the team has maybe lost a bit of momentum in the last few weeks. How would you respond to that? Um, I'd probably question it. I don't understand why people would say that. Um, you know, we've got a goal and um, we're on track, so it seems silly to me. But do you, do you think then that what what you did on on Saturday has probably dispelled any of that? For us, we don't even look at it. Like it's just we play games and we win football matches. That's all we want. So people can have their perceptions and their opinions, but we know what we want and we know what our goal is. So I think everyone's allowed, you know, entitled to their opinion. But you know, I think it's a little bit silly at the same time. Is it was it fair to say you you would all accept that you are in a real title race now? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's a lot of good teams in this league, so it's going to be a race. So you know, like I just keep saying every week, we concentrate on what we do, and that's what we can do. Given that you had such a strong start to the season, would you have expected to have left your nearest challengers a bit behind you? Um, yeah, but I suppose that's the league, and you know that's where the fixtures have set themselves up to be. And again, like I keep saying, we just keep trying to win football matches, and at the end of the season, hopefully, we'll be there. Most immediate incentive is to go three points clear uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, of course. And that's, um, that's our objective and uh, hopefully we can do that. What have you made of the season so far in general? Um, been good, positive. Yeah, a lot of good performances, a lot of good results and a lot of things we can work on still to um, get better. And you know, It's still early days. Um, the team's not you know, been together for that long and you know, the turnover at this club's been you know, quite big for the players that have been here. So it's, it's been a good start. What's the one thing you need to work on most as a team? Um, probably being a bit more clinical. You know, games, you know, we do create a lot of chances, there's no doubt about that. So we can just put the ball in there a few more times. You know, maybe it ease the pressure at games that are, you know, one nil going into the last half an hour game, teams might open up and that's when we can really, you know, take our chances and, you know, bury them. So Go, going on what you're saying there then, how important was it to, to score <coughs> four on Saturday? Because with fifteen minutes to go when you're only one up, it could have been one of those days where Yeah, and teams sit in and they make it difficult for us. They put, you know, a lot of people behind the ball and you know, that we have to try and break them down and score goals and, you know, that's what we work on every day and, you know, that's, you know, something we have to try and overcome every game. I know you guys are very much focused on your performance, but does it make a difference confidence-wise when you when you manage to get over the line in such convincing No, time? I think the confidence is always there. I don't think that's ever been questioned, but, you know, obviously when you get the goals, it's, it's a reward for your hard work and um, it's obviously nice to score a lot of goals and win by, you know, big distances in game, but, you know, we just, we don't we lose confidence at all in what we do. We always do what we do. I mean, if, we, if it's not quite working, we try and do it better, like the manager says. How are you finding it? You've obviously played alongside Danny initially, Dominic mm -hmm. come in and Danny back in at the weekend. Yeah. I take it you don't have a preference? No, I just, obviously, I, you know, there's a bit of competition there and that's healthy for any team and any squad. So whoever the manager picks to play, you know, I'm happy to play with whoever it is. And, um, you know, we're all fighting for that shirt and that place every week. So, How much heart can you take from pretty much being the mainstay in that role so far? Um, I, I don't really look into it too much. I just hopefully I just I keep my head down and just work hard and try and you know let my football do the talking and hopefully the manager picks me and you know like I'm you know like anyone I want to play obviously, but I understand there's a squad and there's a lot of games this season so whatever the manager chooses I respect. How do you feel about being part of high pressure situations like a title race? Is that something you've? Ever yeah, I think I thrive on it. Yeah, I think uh, of all the players in there do as well. You know. It just you know ups your game maybe one two three percent every day in training and in games so it's good it's healthy I like it. So it keeps all the guys on their toes. Yeah, definitely, and that's what we need. So. And it's always exciting for people to watch. How much do you take from that? That kind of feedback from the fans, etc. Yeah, okay, it's massive. Obviously, we want to impress the fans. We want to send them home happy. You know, that's on our, on our wall. We, we want to do that and every day. We try and draw that into ourselves. And you know, the fans here they want to see good performances and, and win us and win games. So that's what we try and do every game. It's no different. There's a cup final, of course, now to look forward to. Yeah. It's a wee while away yet, but it, let's talk about it being played at Hamden. How, how much would that feel to you? Yeah, brilliant. Um, I'm sure that you know we, we'd fill it out and um, it'd be a good occasion. So wherever it's played, I've just you know we're concentrating on the main result and you know winning a final. It'd be brilliant. There are uh, stories that will not go away linking the manager with other clubs. This morning, he is odds on favourite to be the next full manager. Does that entertain you all in the dressing room? Would you just ignore it? I mean. I think there's going to be a lot of speculation if you see what the gaff has done here. You know, he's, he's been brilliant, and I think everyone, you know, gives him credit for that. And Davy and Jim, you know, everyone. So you know, there's going to be speculation like there is, you know, and um, you know, I'm sure the manager will, is happy here, and I'm sure that you know he will want to see this club succeed. So, the time that you've now been here, how would you judge the size of this club compared to maybe what lies uh, in the Championship or in the Premier League? Yeah, there is no money. It's the size of the clubs, you know, bigger than anything I've ever been involved in. Um, I said that since since I walked through the door. But um, you know, the fan base as well is 
it's just, it, you can you can compare it to the top prem teams in England. So, you know, the the structure here is massive, and um, it's something that I, I thrive on. And I like it. Do you think that that is enough to keep suitors away from the manager's door then to, to persuade him that there's a bigger project here than maybe in in England? I mean, that's something you'd have to ask the manager. I can't speak on his behalf, although I know that all the lads respect him and all the lads, you know, love being here under him. And um, so I hope it can continue.